This tutorial introduces you to shepherdizing on Lexis Advance. Shepherds is Lexis's citation system for retrieving cases that have cited your case. It's a way to see if your case has been criticized or overruled or approved and followed. It's also a way to see how other courts with different facts have treated the particular rule of law that you're interested in. As we did for our key site tutorial, we're going to start out with a case. Golden Gateway Center versus Golden Gateway Tenants Association. It's a First Amendment case from 2001 about the right of a tenants association to leave leaflets in an apartment building. Now you've read the case and you're particularly interested in what constitutes state action. In other words, what actions of the private property owner amount to state action for purposes of the free speech clause of the California Constitution? You want more cases about that topic. In Lexis Advance, the first thing you're going to do is type your citation in the search box at the top, then click on the Shepherd's link below. The first tab shows us the appellate history of the case. What happened to the case in the appellate courts? So we see there was a decision in the First District Court of Appeal, which the California Supreme Court decided to review. And as a result, the Court of Appeal decision was depublished. So that decision is no longer citable. That's why it has the red stop sign. Here is the order granting review, and here is our decision. The next tab lists the citing decisions, 49 in total. If you watch the key site tutorial, you may recall that Westlaw found 51 cases that cite Golden Gateway Center. This is because the databases have slightly different coverage. Westlaw might include some unpublished cases that Lexis omits. So here are the 49 citing cases in Lexis Advance. I can limit these results using the filters at the left. Lexis lets you narrow your results by type of analysis, jurisdiction, depth of treatment, headnote, and date. It also lets you search for specific words within the results. If I'm only interested in California cases, I'm going to select California from the list, and that reduces my results to 27 cases, including both published and unpublished. If I want to narrow my results further to cases that discuss the state action issue, I can use the headnotes filter. I can review the text of the headnotes in our original case by clicking on the View Text of Headnotes link. Reviewing the headnotes, I found that headnote 23 best addresses my issue. And you'll notice when you scroll over Headnote 23, it shows you the text of that headnote. So I'm going to click on Headnote 23, and that reduces my results to 10 cases, six published and four unpublished. The same search in Westlaw retrieved eight published cases. This is because different cases are assigned different headnotes in Westlaw and Lexis. A very important thing to keep in mind is that the language of the headnotes and the assigning of headnotes to particular cases is done by editors working at Westlaw and Lexis. It's not done by the courts. The same is true of the treatment. A Westlaw editor might read a case and think that it criticizes the original case, while a Lexis editor might read it and think that it follows it. You should always read the cases yourself and make your own determination. You may not agree. So our results list indicates the treatment, as decided by Lexis's editors, as well as the depth of treatment. That's the degree to which the citing case analyzes or discusses your original case. If it has a lengthy discussion of the case, the Lexis editors will probably assign it four bars. If it just cites the case, they will probably only give it one bar. In Lexis Advance, you can click on the link below the case name to go directly to where the original case is cited in the case. So in U versus University of Laverne, we can just click on the link and it takes us to where Golden Gateway Centers is cited in the case. What if we want to see if any law review articles cite this case? Going back to the tabs at the top of the screen, we click on the Citing Law Review's Treatises tab. Then we use the filters to narrow our contents to law reviews. There are seven in total. If you recall from the key site tutorial, 
Westlaw indicated that 44 law review articles cite this case. Again, this is attributable to differences in coverage. One nice feature of Lexis Advance is that it includes a table of authorities tab. This lists cases that are cited by our original case, Golden Gateway Centers, and indicates how our original case treated those cases. And that's Shepherds on Lexis Advance. Remember, you can always ask a reference librarian or the law school's Lexis representative for help.